back in 49, went to Detroit, working on an assembly line. The first week they had me putting wheels on Cadillac. Every day I'd watch them bees roll by, and sometimes I'd hang my head and cry, because I always wanted me one that was long and black. One day I devised myself a plan that should be the envy of most city men. I'd take it out of there and a lunchbox in my hand. Of it all by the time I retired, have me a car with at least a hundred grand. I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. And yeah, you'll know me in New York. I'm gonna ride around in style, gonna drive everybody wild. So I have the only one that lives around. So the very next day when I punched in with some big lunch boxes and some help from my friend, I left that day with a lunch box full of gears. I never considered myself a thief, but GM would miss just one little piece, especially if I strung it out over several years. Now the first week I got me a fuel pump, and then I got a motor and a trunk, and then I got a transmission and all the chrome. The little things would fit in my big lunch box, like the nuts and the bolts and all four shots, but the bigger things we had to sneak out in my buddy's mobile home. Now up to now my plan went all right until we tried to put it all together one night. That's when we realized there was something most definitely wrong. See, the motor was a 53 and the transmission was a 73 and when we tried to put in the bolts, all the holes were gone. So we drilled it out so that it would fit and with a little bit of help from an aid after kick, we had that motor running like a song. But the headlights, that was another sight. We had two on the left and one on the right and when we threw the switch, all three of them come on. The back end looked kind of funny too, but we put it together and when we got through, that's when we realized that we only had one tail thin. About this time my wife comes out and you can see in her eyes that she had her doubts, but she opened the door and said, Honey, take me for a spin. So we drove uptown just to get the tags and as I headed right down Main Drag, I could hear everybody laughing for blocks around. But up at the courthouse, they didn't laugh, because the tie bit up to the whole damn staff. And when they got through, the title weighed 60 pounds. I got it one piece at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. And yeah, you'll know me when I come to your town. I'm gonna ride around in style, gonna drive everybody wild. Cause I have the only one there is around. Yeah, Red Rider. This is the cotton mouth of the Psycho Billy Cadillac, come on. Uh, negatory on the cost of this here motion there, Red Rider. You might say I went straight down to the factory and picked her up. It's cheaper that way. What model is it? Well, it's a 4950, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 automobile. Yeah, it's a 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 automobile. Yeah, it's a 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80 automobile. Yeah, it's an 81, 82, 83, 84. 